Dr. Camilla Sasson is among the handful of doctors from Colorado who's gone to New York to help that city fight COVID-19. She's going to be spending at least a month at a field hospital set up in Brooklyn. But she wanted the spotlight to be on her husband, Eric, and all of the other families of healthcare workers who are joined in making sacrifices. She's going to be treating COVID-19 positive patients, so that's certainly scary. I feel like I'm going to the, my first day of school. She loves to help, right? She has that caring gene in her. I think I want to set a good example for my kids, um, which is, hey, look, you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices to help other people. Um, sometimes it's scary. So they're certainly sad. Madeline last night woke up in the middle of the night and she was asking where mom was. I love you. My son yesterday, as I was saying goodbye, like, oh, it broke my heart, because the last thing he says is, I love you too, I've tried explaining to the kids, hey, mom needs to go away for a month or so. There's a lot of sick people in New York, and that's where she needs to be to help them get better. To me, he's the unsung hero, because I'm not trying to work and take care of a three-year-old and a five-year-old right now <laughs> at the same time by myself for the next month. I'm confident that, you know, I'll have things relatively under control. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Here's the other one. My three-year-old is um, probably a lot like me, um, which is good and bad. Oh, yeah. You know, my five-year-old is just the sweetest, most loving, um, very conscientious older brother, and he's very worried about mama getting sick. I want them to think back and think, hey, that was a wonderful time, as opposed to, hey, you know, dad was just trying to keep his head above water. You know how to braid hair yet? Oh my gosh, no, but ask me in a week or two and I might be a master. I'll be looking up videos on YouTube. <laughs>